Hey everyone, John from Beyond AR TV. Today we are going to be talking about easy steps to expand your taste in music, but first I wanted to thank our brand new sponsor, Feedbands. During this ad apocalypse and everything that we're going through, advertisers like this and of course you guys that are supporting on Patreon, you are really helping keep the channels afloat, helping me keep going on YouTube. So thank you. And if you're wondering how you can help out the channel and you aren't able to support on Patreon, checking out the sponsors is always a great way. I only choose stuff that I actually use myself and something that I think is really cool. So what is Feedbands? Well, it's basically a music community that you can join. You can stream the independent artists for free. And then if you join up, you're actually able to get stuff that they press to vinyl. But you're wondering, how do they press stuff to vinyl? Well, once you go over there, it's the top link in the description down below, feedbands.com slash vinyl, you can see how all of these independent artists are able to upload to the site at no cost to the band or artist. And then the artists that get the most upvotes, you know, new songs are coming out daily, everybody's uploading, you get stuff sent to your inbox, new music to check out, and it's really awesome actually to discover stuff that you love. But once that's going on, people are upvoting the stuff that they like the most. At the end of the month, the stuff that gets the most upvotes gets pressed to vinyl at no cost to the band or artist, which is awesome because these smaller bands get attention and notoriety that they maybe never would have had anywhere else. The exposure is incredible. I love their business model. It's extremely unique, and you guys know that I'm very critical of these record of the month type services, but this is actually user voted. It's what you guys and the community control. So go check out Feedbands. Tell them John from ARTV sent you. All right, guys, on to what you clicked for today. Easy tips to expand your taste in music. Stuff that worked for me, and maybe you're only listening to like a few bands, you're looking to find stuff that sounds similar to that, or you're looking to get into a new genre, or an artist, you're looking for a starting point. These are tips that worked for me, and I think could work for a lot of my viewers that have these questions quite frequently. I was gonna do a Dear John on this on the main channel, but I really felt like this deserved its own video over here on Beyond, and I am looking to expand the type of content that I do on Beyond, do some other videos. Lately, I feel like I've just gotten into like track reviews and seven on Sunday, so over the summer, look for more content like this. Be sure to leave a like on the video to let me know that you're enjoying this type of stuff. Keep it coming on YouTube, and let's go with my first point. How boring would it be if we all liked the exact same things? If there was like a king that handed down a decree to all of the peasants in the village and we all had to like the same type of music. We all have that liberty to make our own choices, our own personal preferences, likes and dislikes. That's why I always recommend watching a variety of different YouTubers whenever it comes to like music influencers or even blogs or anything like that. There's a good variety out there. That way you get kind of a good taste. If you're more into like metal and stuff, you've got like Cover Killer Nation, Spectrum Pulse covers a lot of that stuff. If you're looking for more in the indie and hip hop community, you've got like the LP Club and Needle Drop, then Pop Punk, you've got LP Club again, covering a little bit of everything, Spinner Reviews, Infinity on Hannah, alternative stuff all over the place. There's a lot of different outlets where you can get your music from. Now, obviously music influencers aren't going to have control over your taste in music. Music. You like and dislike what you like, but to find out about new music, I always recommend subscribing to a good handful of channels here on YouTube or following blogs or different publications that you trust. Try not to make the mistake of just listening to one, two, or even three bands. Just a little handful like that and you'll never see the entire world that is out there. If you're just listening to Fall Out Boy or Green Day, Panic at the Disco, Incubus, if you're just listening to one band over and over and over again, all of their albums, you'll never know what they were maybe influenced by or other bands that have taken inspiration from them over the years and other genres that you might be able to get into as a result of that. If you like one thing like Panic at the Disco, Maybe you'll like some of their side projects that some of the old members have done. Or maybe you'll want to expand into similar artists that you see on YouTube and like the recommended and that sort of thing. But if you spend all of your time just in one band's catalog, you're not going to know what's outside of that. And you're not going to know why somebody else is liking something. And then you get comfortable there. You get comfortable with just a handful of bands and you're like, I don't need any more than this. When in reality, you could be missing out big time. 
This is definitely a big one. I really do suggest that you try out the suggested artist or albums on Apple Music or whatever streaming service that you use, like Spotify, or like I said, Feedbands. They do have a streaming applicant to their service there, and I love that about it. You can find new artists there, ones that are kind of up and coming. Symbol is a great place to see where your friends are posting songs. You guys know I'm over there, and Feedbands, of course, as well. Spotify, Apple Music have recommended sections, and sometimes if you can put this on in your account, you can turn on the autoplay in Spotify, and it will continue after you finish one album or one playlist, it'll continue to play similar stuff. And that's honestly a great way to find new similar artists. If you're listening to some alternative stuff, maybe you're listening to like the best of the 2000s or the best of the 2010s, maybe you'll find an artist that you never even knew existed, like Mr. Wives or Sir Sly. Or if you're into hip hop and you're listening to a hip hop playlist over on Apple Music, they might actually suggest that you have another playlist and you're like, oh, Oh, maybe I was just listening to trap rap before, but maybe I could get into some conscious hip hop as a result of that. And it really is easy to kind of branch out from there. It's always a bit mouthwatering to me whenever I find a new band or artist that I just love or something that I really, really enjoy. And an easy way to really do that, maybe you've heard names floating around, whether it be at school or at work or something like that. Maybe you always heard someone say Mac DeMarco's name but never knew who he was. You never gave him a chance. Look up those artists that you've heard about but have never given a chance to. Go into their discography, listen to some of their singles, see what you think. I honestly feel like I didn't give a good chance to artists like Beyonce before. Before Lemonade came out and sure there's a lot of stuff that I don't like from her at all whatsoever but at the same time there's songs that I might have never heard if I had just continued to have the mindset of ah you know I don't really like Beyonce she's overrated and I feel like I had that opinion for no reason so if you've heard these band names or these artist names floating around for a long time you just didn't know what to do with it maybe your parents were huge fans of them and you never gave them a chance yourself go look them up on YouTube or on Spotify right now you'll probably be doing yourself a favor you might find something that you love. Give new genres a chance, please. It's something that is very, very important. I feel like a lot of people will write off hip hop. That's one that I have a tendency to see because, oh, I, it's just about strippers and booze and getting all the girls and your Maserati and that sort of thing. Okay, sure, Rick Ross, Lil Uzi Vert, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really down with that, and that's me personally. Some people absolutely love that, and there's no reason for me to criticize that. But at the same time, don't just write off the entire genre of hip hop based on that. And the same could go for the rock community. If you're really into rap and you really love Kanye West, Run the Jewels, Kendrick Lamar, everything like that, and then you hear like, oh, you know, this new rock album came out from Harry Styles or Green Day. Don't be such an elitist that you can't give a chance to something else. Free your mind and allow the instrumentation, the musicality, and the lyrics to settle in. It might be a lot more than what you expected. This one is ever important, and it's the biggest problem that I have with reaction channels here on YouTube. Give songs more than one listen before you have an informed opinion on it. And I say informed in quotation marks like that because you can't have an informed opinion after one listen to a song or an album. Yes, of course, reactions are your first impression to something, but for it to really settle in, to know if you really love it or hate it, you're gonna have to hear it more than that. So if maybe Miley Cyrus came out with that new single recently, or Lana Del Rey, or The Weeknd, some pop artist that you don't care for that much, but you've heard a lot of their stuff. You hear their new song one time and you're like, eh, it's, it's, it's whatever. What if I had only played Starboy one time and actually turned into one of my favorite hit songs of the year, but I didn't care for it on first listen? If I hadn't listened to it about five times back to back, that might have changed. I continued to listen to it over the weeks leading up to the release of that album. So it's something that I have to pass on to you guys. Don't just judge something off of one listen. It's something that you have to let sit with you. And you can always change your opinion over time as well. Maybe things will grow on you and you'll never know if you don't give them the proper chance. I hope this video was informative. I do hope this I hope this video was informative and helpful for 
I hope this video was informative and helpful for you guys today. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Let me know if you tried out some of these tricks and if they worked for you, if you found something new that you loved, or if you found new stuff just from watching my videos. Sound off in the comment section down below and leave a like on the video. Don't forget to check out our sponsor Feedbands. They kindly brought this video to you today. Top link in the description down below. Find some new music for yourself and maybe even get some cool vinyl that you never would have known existed. I've got a lot more content coming out very soon right here on Beyond Air TV. If you're able to help out on Patreon, it's the annotation over there in the corner. I've got a couple of recent videos from Beyond AR TV right here in the annotations for you. And you can find me on social media, all of these links in the description down below. Other than that, I'm going to see you guys very, very soon.